Toronto Raptors president Masai Ujiri has made it clear no one is off limits this summer. After getting swept by Cleveland in back-to-backs, it's clear this team needs a little shake-up. It all started with the firing of Dwayne Casey. Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan are the first names that come to mind when you think of a shake-up. But, there's a very small chance the Raptors can compete next if they trade both of them. Toronto has more depth at point guard than they do at shooting guard, which makes Lowry the better trade candidate. Adding Shai Gildas Alexander to the Raptors' young core would be a great move, but what pick would UG Rehab to acquire to select him? Well, that's the fun part. The morning tip has Gildas Alexander going 13th overall to the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers have back-to-back picks in the first round 12th and 13th. So now comes the question, who did the Raptors have to trade to get the 13th overall pick? The headline of this article gives this away, but Lowry would be the centerpiece of the deal. This is the package that works for both teams, Lowry and Norman Powell for Patrick Beverly, the 13th overall pick, and a 2019 second pick. Beverly would be an effective addition to the Raptors, his role would be to start a point guard until Gildas Alexander was ready to take the job. All these rumors are making it seem more and more likely that Lowry or DeRozan will be playing elsewhere next. The Dallas Mavericks are another team the Raptors could look to make a trade with. The Mavericks have the fifth overall pick in this year's draft. Here is the trade I have put together to acquire that pick. The Raptors send Lowry and Pascal Siakam to the Mavericks. The Mavericks would send Wesley Matthews, the fifth overall pick and their first round selection in 2019. This trade makes sense for the future of the Raptors. Not only do you save money against the salary cap, but you also get two first round picks. Matthews is a free agent after next so if he doesn't fit with this team, you're not committed to him for more than a year. Both these trades would improve the Raptors for both now and the future, even though this means an end to the Lowry, DeRozan era in Toronto. This team still has a chance to be competitive they just need a little shake-up.